traveling means stepping behind the ordinary, where each discovery turns into a story and every meeting is a treasure. Some people find pleasure in a strange mix of comfort and overpassing themselves. What seems extreme today will become the norm tomorrow. Adventure is a luxury not everyone gets, but no matter the difficulty, it can be on your way. Finally, Oman. I know this country is not my first time. It's always the same, the temperature is extreme. It's around 35, maybe 40 degrees. Today, it's just time to visit a little bit Muscat and talk with our friend Tara and Joe about the adventures coming. My legs want to move, they need to move. I'm more than ready for this adventure, I dreamed about it a lot of time. Tomorrow it will be the day. Day one of the adventure, 6 a.m. It's time to put the bike in the car to go to Nizwa. After discussed with our friend, it's not safe to ride the first part of the road. The old capital of the country, Nizwa, bring you into the heart of Oman, the peninsula Harbi. This special city is the perfect starting point to exploring the nearly village and the region of Jabal Shams. We found coffee shop, grocery store, everything to take the basic before riding to our first destination. Nizwa is mainly known for the majestic fort, built in 17th century and it's today one of the most important treasures of the country. Seventy kilometers, it's the distance we need to do today. It's not so much on the paper, but we pushed the bike the first two hours in a canyon and we lost a lot of energy. We don't eat, we don't drink enough, and we are going to pay this mistake at the end of the day. Oman have a lot of treasure. The roads are beautiful, but they are extreme. At the end of the day, we meet Omani people. They open us their door to take shower and enjoy food. I want to film everything and photography a lot, but I'm not sure. I don't know their habits, their rules, so I don't do too much. Friends. Friends. Yeah. Oh. You, you live in Oman? In Oman. Uh, okay. Since? Since. Oh, okay. But this sharing moment will be in my mind forever now. My dear journal, day two and the night was difficult. My sleeping mat lost all the air. I wake up tired and I know that the program is going to be hard. We go to the top of Jabel Sham, 35 km of climbing. We don't know if we can find water or food on the road. So, first night, and my sleeping mat was losing air. So now we are fixing the, the problem. And we are lucky to be in a house with a many guy who help us. So, yeah. So we have 
2,000 meter up. <laughs> we have 2,000 meter up, I think, to climb today. So, but it will be okay. We will go through here. First part of the day is asphalt. It's really steep. The weight of the bike and the temperature force us to be really slow. When we have the chance to find shade, we try to recover. We are only two bikers on this road and I understand why. Second part is gravel road, worse than asphalt. The fast car put a lot of dust in the air, I'm thirsty and hungry. The summit is close. The last effort to achieve these days makes me happy. I know the gift at the end. A wild and beautiful place. Jabel Sham is the highest mountain in Oman. We sleep at 2000 meters. We finished pretty much the day. Now it's time to find some food. We are on top of uh, Jabel Shams. It was harder than we were thinking. It was quite a surprise. Some part was really, really steep. But at the end, we managed it pretty well. I think it took us six or seven hours, something like that. So yeah, we are happy to be here. Now time to eat some food and go to sleep again. Cheers. This adventure always surprised me. Tonight we met Matthew. He is traveling with Car. A nice guy with a lot of story. Stars are my TV show tonight. The last light of the wood fire helped me to close my eyes. I feel the effort of the last day. My body is smashed. It was so far my best night during this trip. Tonight we want to be in Wadi Ghul. The plan is pretty easy today. It's just downhill. Downhill all the climb we did yesterday. As a kid I have the feeling to discovering bike for the first time again. We just drive fast, jump, drift. We take a lot of fun on this road. But after that coming a real challenge. The road to Wadi Gould is built in a canyon. It means that every time it's raining heavy, how many people need to rebuild it? It's a rocky and sandy road. We pushed the bike many times to finally achieve our location. Because of the first easy part and the small distance we did today, we arrived pretty early at the camp. We have time to clean the clothes and recover a little bit. We go to sleep pretty early. The day is coming, we don't know yet, will be really, really hard. My dear journal, 
It's going to be the last day. It was normally an easy one. Normally. Today I had this question. Why? Why I do that? What I do this kind of adventure? Human is the most beautiful thing you can find on earth. Each country has its own culture, own secret. Inside me, there is something who pushed me to discover this world. What's the limit? I don't know yet. But if I want to answer this question, why? It's because I'm thirsty about knowledge and adventure. My dear journal, I'm on my way to do the biggest distance I never did on a bike today. My mind is ready, my body is ready. I'm thankful for everything about this adventure, about everyone who make it possible. I don't know when and where is the next one, but I promise you that those words are not the last. Adventure, keep going.